Hello and welcome to this Victor tutorial. In this video, I'm going to walk you through our Maps tutorial. In front of you, you can see the final application that we are going to build. As you can see, I have the ability to select two points on a map. And I can perform an analysis on this flight path that it creates. I've also made a no fly zone with a description and I've used icons to indicate the departing and arrival airports. We will be starting with an empty app template. To quickly remind you how to create a template, you will first need to make the folder for the app. You have to do that in the Victor Apps folder. Then we need to generate the files using the Victor CLI Create app. And for this tutorial, you will want to choose the type editor. Next, we will clear our Victor database using Victor CLI Clear. Then we can use Victor CLI Install to install the application. Once it's done installing, we can start the app and begin building the elements. If you have not done this before or would like a quick refresher on how to do it, you can watch the in-depth video in our documentation. If all went well, you should have the same overview as I do. You can see we have this app.py template with some initial imports, and then we have our parameterization class and the controller class. Victor does not require you to know what classes are, only that you recognize that we will use the parameterization to define our inputs and the controller class for our views and calculations. As a quick reference to the final app, the parameterization will correspond to this left side of the screen and the controller to this right side. In our editor, let's start our app using Victor CLI Start. And you may now open the browser using this link in the editor. You may open your development workspace. And here we will be able to see all the changes as we build our app. Now let's go back into the editor and continue with the app template. And let's start to make some imports. We will need the geopoint field and text functions from the Victor parameterization. and text. Then we will also need some imports from victor.views. So we will start with from victor.views and then we will import the map polygon. We will also need a map view. Of course, the map view will need a map result. And because we're using maps, we're also going to need the map point, the map line. And because we want to use some color, like you saw at the beginning, we will also import color. Now that we have all our imports, let's add an empty map to our app. For that, we will go into our controller and we will start by adding a decorator for the map view. So we will go map view and we will need to give it a name. We will call it flight analysis. And we need to also give it a duration guess, which we will set to one since we do not have any complicated calculations. The next step is to define a function. We're going to call it get map and we will need to give it three arguments. This will be the self, the params, and the quarks. These are all quite standard in Victor. Then for the map view, it will need uh, one thing to pass as a result. In this case, we can pass an empty list and we will call it features. Like so, very nice and simple. And now that we have uh, this uh, argument we can pass to the result, we can return 
with a map result and then we can return the features. Now let's save the app and go to our development environment in the browser and this will show the application as we have it on the cloud right now. So go ahead and save. The app, as you can see, will reload. When the app is ready, go to the browser and refresh the page. And here you can see the Victor map. Now just the map is not that interesting. So let's add some features. The first feature I want to add with you is a no-fly zone. Let's define this no-fly zone by a selection of coordinates in the sea. This could be that they're doing some experiments there, or there might be building an oil rig, who knows. We will go back into the editor, and we will go into our getMap function. And here we will add the map polygon, and the map polygon will require some map points. And the way that we can do that is simply by defining it as the no fly zone equal to map polygon. And then we need to open the brackets, open square brackets, and then we can start adding our map points. Feel free to copy these coordinates. I will just be using something off the coast of Europe. All right. When we have made the polygon, we can simply use the append function or list. and append our no-fly zone, like so. Let's save app.py, and if we have no bugs, we should be able to see this no-fly zone in our application. So let's go to the browser and refresh the page. And as you can see, here we have the no-fly zone. These are the coordinates that we have in the map points. The next logical step is to make our app interactive. Let's go into our editor again, and we will go into our parameterization class. We will add two input fields for the flight path. The first being a departing airport and the second being an arrival airport. We'll do this by adding a geo point field. So let's name the first airport as the departing airport. And we'll make this the geopoint field. Let's give it the name departing airport. And then we can do the same for the arriving airport. Like so. So we now have a view and some input parameters. Let's save the app and go see how that looks in our browser. You can refresh the page. And as you can see, we have our parameterization on the left now. Let's try adding one of those points to the map. As you can see, Victor saves the latitude and the longitude of the coordinates but it does not leave an icon where we placed our map point. So let's go back to the editor and change that. In our getMap function, we will need to use an if statement for these points because we need to have a value before we can add it to our features. How we will do that is by going down here and we will type if parents dot departing airport then departure point is equal to a map point and this map point needs to come from a geo point 
and then we can say that it needs to come from the params.departing airport like so then of course we need to add this to the features so we can do features dot append departing point then we can repeat this for the arriving airport so if params dot arrival airport then the arrival point is equal to a map point and again from geo point and we need to specify that it's coming from the arriving airport point and this needs to be from params like that then again features dot append to add it to that list and that should give us our map now let's save it go to our browser refresh the page and see if it works Let's add a point again in roughly the same place. And as you can see now, the icon for the location is stay. Now we're trying to build a flight path app. So the next logical step is if we have two of these points to make sure the flight path gets made. Let's go back into the editor for that. And now that we have our points, we're going to make another if statement for the map line. And we will also need to add that to the features. So type with me if params dot departing airport and params dot arriving airport, meaning if we have both the points, then our flight path will be a map line. That consists of the departing point and the arrival point. And then, as always, features.append flight path. So now our features list has four elements in it. Let's save that and let's go back to the browser to see the changes that we made. We will need to refresh the page. Now, if we add two points, then Victor will add the flight path. The next step, and one of the most important things to consider when building apps, is the user experience. Good apps inform and guide the user throughout the app. Although we have a simple app, we will still give it a title and an introductory text to help our users understand the functionality of our application. Let's go into the editor again, and we will add a text field to our parameterization. Or actually, it's not a text field. That's somewhere where you can write text. This will be just the text. So we will write introduction is equal to text and then i have pre-written this text feel free to copy that and basically we use the hashtag to indicate that it's a title and to be the flight analysis app and in this app you can analyze a flight path and whether it passes through a no-fly zone select two points in bold corresponding to the airports of departure and arrival. Then once you have that, you can save your app. And then we will have a look in the browser to see if our changes have been made. 
And there you have it. Now let's continue thinking about this user experience and more specifically, how can we make the features on our map view more informative? The easiest way to do this, Victor, is to add titles, icons, and colors. So let's go into the editor and let's go to our no fly zone and let's add a title, color, and description. Beware that the square bracket needs to be closed for the points and then we can start adding the extra features. So let's start with a color and let's make it red because it's no fly zone. Then we will add a title and let's call it the no fly zone. And then finally, a description. And let's keep it simple. Stay out. Like so. Then for our points of the airports, we want to give the airport that is departing an upward triangle and for arrival, a downward triangle. And let's make them blue. So we can go into the map point and here we will add icon. And since this is departing, we will have a regular triangle and we'll make the color blue like that then we'll do the same for the arriving airport except here the icon will be a downwards triangle and we do that like so and then the color will also be blue just like that then let's save our app and let's see if our changes have been made in the browser. Let's give it a refresher. And we can immediately see that our no fly zone has become red. That's good. If we now click on it, we will see that it says no fly zone, stay out. That's nice and clear for the pilot. Then let's give the map these two points for the airports. And as you can see, I now departure, have a departure from Ireland and I'm landing somewhere here in the ocean. Let's hope on a nice aircraft carrier. And that is it. We have completed the maps tutorial. Now, if you would like to expand this application to practice your Victor skills, I highly recommend you try to make the no fly zone interactive with the geo polygon field. It is also possible to make the color green if the flight path does not intersect and red if it does. Some other things you could try are a flight path with multiple nodes so that it can fly around the no-fly zone and then calculate distance on the map for fuel calculations. Now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to learn more about the possibilities with Victor, feel free to try out all our other tutorials. For now, good luck and happy coding!